Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and this is Sonali from It Starts At Home and I have amazing mental maths activities for you guys today in the poll that I took yesterday and I had given three options, a brain teaser, book recommendations and mental math and mental math got the maximum votes so here i am sharing with you 11 amazing mental math activities for kids before i get going make sure you hit the subscribe button press the bell icon so that every time i upload these amazing diy activities for you guys you are notified okay so just to make this activity i have used a simple air for size paper a simple pen pencil and eraser and just to do the activity you would um, need either a a dry erase marker or a pencil pen. I have put all the activities, all the 11 activities in one uh, file folder so that it's easy for everyone. And I'm just gonna put here mental math. And I'm gonna keep it on his uh, desk. So as soon as when he gets time and he's it's time for him to do his maths, he can pick two or three of them and he can try and do it. Uh, I would generally recommend to use a sleeve or a ziplock so that if the child does not understand or if they're not able to do it in the first time, you could reuse the activity and I'm going to show you exactly how. And with this, you could just simply erase it back and you could reuse it for another way. All right, guys, the number first activity that I'm going to show you today is um, draw three more lines to show a figure. So what I've done, I've made a grid here. All right. And it's a four by four grid. Uh, draw three more lines to show figure with six sides and one angle that is greater than the right angle. Okay, I don't know if you can see, but I have drawn um, this shape right here. And this is what they have to use as a base and needs to make an extension to make it six sides and one angle that is greater than the right angle. So this is how this activity is going to be. Activity number two. Draw three more lines to show a square. So again, a four by four here, and this is the starting line. Now, to begin with, if the child needs to make a square, uh, they have to figure it out because this is the one line, right? So the best way to make would be an align here. So that's how it makes. I am gonna do this one also so that it's easily, uh, you can see it. So that's how by adding three more lines, uh, they are going to show a square. Moving on to the next activity. All right. So the activity number three is Vivan wrote some letters in a, in a pattern below. A, B, C, C, D, A, A. Again, if Vivan wrote a total of 63 letters in a pattern, how many letters A did he write? How this activity will be done? Because we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, right? So we are going to do 63 divided by seven, that's gonna make it into nine groups. And then how many letters of A are there? One, two, three. So that is three letters, three A's in each group. All right, and that's going to be nine into three. So that's going to be nine into three and that is 27. So he wrote, he wrote 27 times, 27 letters of A. So that's how this question is going to be solved. On a similar way, there's another question which is going to be solved like this, which is Rena is creating a pattern of shapes, show below. And you have one, two, three, four, five, six. So now you have six and you again are creating 63 shapes. Please, now moving on to the next one, we have uh, the rapid fire questions here. These five questions here with me, and they are all rapid fire. You could time for your kids. I'm gonna give five minutes for each question or less for Vivan to do. Finish all of them. Some are easy, some are difficult. You could definitely um, use the numbers according to your wish. I have always said I am using it um, as a base mark for uh, Vivan, but you could definitely uh, improvise according to your kids, according to their liking and the numbers that they are working on. So let me take number one, which is V minus R is equal to 13 and R plus R plus R is equal to 27. So what are we going to do first? And it says, what does V stand for? We are going to take V is equal to 27 
divided by 3, which is 9. All right. And then we are going to take R is equal to 13 plus 9. And that is going to be 22. So that's how we are going to solve that question. We have used the numbers that we have plus these here to divide. And once you have that, you're adding this to this number. And then you have the value of V, which is 22. So like this, guys, I have A plus B plus C is equal to 150. 5 into A is equal to 45. C plus C plus C plus uh, minus C is equal to 86. You have to find the value of B. And then you have this one. Is, I'm not sure if how many of you are aware of Math Dooku. Um, this is something that I had introduced with one last year. And um, I went, I had attended a seminar and that's where uh, I was introduced to this concept. It's a little difficult and tricky concept. It's a step ahead of Sudoku. But I have just shared these two and I've solved one here. And I'm going to read uh, you what are the rules and regulations here. So primarily you have a grid and it could be 2x2, 3x3, 4x4. And uh, this is the grid that I have taken. Each cell will fill in numbers 1 to 4. So this is the only thing that you can use. Numbers from 1 to 4 in each one of them. Each numbers may only be used once in each column. The bold areas are called cages. So now these are called cages. If you see the bold areas, these extra lines that you see in both of them, they are called cages. Each cage has a target number. Now each cage that you see has a target number. And that's the answer to the math problem. Or it could be the plus, minus, multiplication or division if that's what your child is, uh, if they are doing. So I have used all four of here. You could just use only addition or only subtraction. If there is no operation signed by the target number, simply write the number in the cell. So we had 24 uh, into here. Okay, and I had one, I had five plus three, uh, five plus here. So there was a number of combinations that I've used here to solve to solve this question. So I know this might be a little more difficult, but if you want me to like do a separate video of explanation, um, the math joku, I would be happy to do that. So guys, these were pretty cool um, activities that I wanted to share with you for uh, mental math. If you like this video, make sure you give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and leave a comment. Thanks for watching, guys. See you next time.